So whenever we are attending for some supply chain management procurement interviews, in the interviews they will be asking us, while creating the requisition approvals or purchasing document approvals, there are different types of routings, approval routings. What are those approval routings? We have five types, approval group, job level, position hierarchy, single approver, and supervisor hierarchy. So these all five, we call it as a approval routings or different types of approvals. If required the approval from one person, we choose single approver. If required approval from multiple people, then we'll choose approval group, which we have to create from BPM work list. And if required the approval from the manager, we'll go with supervisor hierarchy, either from single manager or from multiple managers. And if at all the organizations wants to go based on the job or based on the position hierarchy, then we are going ahead with either job level hierarchy or position level hierarchy. Where do we configure these jobs and positions? These two will be configured in human capital management. In human capital management, there is a concept called position trees. Position trees and job level hierarchies can be defined. There we can go for choose this. Okay. So these are the five different types of approvals. For example, I, if I required approvals from the supervisor, so we'll choose this approval chain off. Okay. So when, when the employee is creating, means when the buyer is creating a purchase order, so buyer also is an employee, he might be having some specific uh, uh, approval chain. It means his manager is different and uh, project manager is different. For example, a requester is of requesting of items, goods or service, person is different. So system is asking whose manager approval is required. It means which approval chain you would like to follow. You want to follow buyer approval chain or requester approval chain or the person who has submitted this purchase order, that approval chain or requisition overriding approver or purchase order overriding approver. So which approval chain you would like to go for? Generally, when we are working with purchase order document, the chain related with the buyer only. Because buyer is the main person who is required the goods. Okay, he is going to raise the purchase order. Maybe he is required. If somebody else is their requester, so some ex person is requesting the goods, buyer is creating the order. So then buyer says that you need to get approval from your manager. So requester says, okay, create a document with my approval chain so that the notification will be sent to the requester manager. Then he will take a decision whether it has to be approved or not. Okay. So at this point of time, I'm just going ahead with buyer. How about start with? Start with is nothing but the approval needs to start from the buyer or from the manager. Sometimes what happened, the organization says that as soon as the buyer create a purchase order, instead of submitting this PO to the manager, first he has to approve that purchase order, then it has to go for manager. It means the approval needs to be started with the buyer. After that, it has to go to manager. Okay, so that's, that's what uh, we are supposed to specify here. So if at all we require directly from the manager, we can say that start with the manager. We can say start with the manager. So I'm going to say that start with manager. How many managers approvals are required? So for example, if I am the buyer, I need approval from two levels of manager. It means first my manager has to approve. After that, again, his manager has to approve. So two levels, then we'll specify two. If I specify one, what happened? Just I need approval from my manager. Okay. For example, if I specify two here and start with buyer, what is the meaning of this? First buyer has to approve. One level is completed. Second manager has to approve. Second level also is completed successfully. So that's how it will work. Okay. So right now I'm just going to say that uh, manager has to approve it. One level of approval. And who is the top worker in this hierarchy? Who is the top worker in this hierarchy? So choose this, press OK. So I'm going to. This is how we will go for configure supervisor hierarchy with the approval chain of buyer and get the approval from the manager and number of approval levels are one. That's, that's how it is supposed to work. 
Now save this document. Deploy, save the transaction and deploy this and go for save and close. This is how we will go for configure the approvals and different types of approval routings we have means different types of approvals which we have depends on the requirement we are supposed to configure. So these approval types, whatever five we have discussed, these five are common for requisition also. When we go for requisition or if we go for supplier, so the types of approvals are very common. Single approval means one worker, approval group, job level, position level, supervisor, hierarchy. That's all we will find. Okay. So we have seen how we can configure the setups for the approvals in this session. Thank you.